Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a weighted least connection, guys. Okay, so this is a continuation of load balancing algorithms, guys. Okay, yes. So if you did not watch the previous lecture, please please go back and watch it, guys. Okay, yes. So let us continue. So the next concept, next algorithm is a weighted least connection. It is also a dynamic. So basically, along with checking least connections, you are going to assign some weights to those servers, guys. So this server will have a weight ten, this server will have a weight seven, and this server will have a weight one. So in that way. So whenever a request comes, you will be assigning to one one one. So if these two servers are free, so now for whom you will be assigning the request, guys? You will be assigning to this guy because he is having highest priority, right? Yes. So in that way, along with weights and the least connection. So basically, it is a dynamic method. Okay. Yes. So let us continue. The next is a nothing but agent based adaptive load balancing, right? Yes. So this is also a dynamic method, guys. So each server in the pool has an agent. that reports on its current load balancer so real time info to decide which server to send so basically the same concept of least count right so basically how we identified the least values okay so in the same way here a agent will be there so he will be checking each and every server which is having minimum so based on that minimum connections or minimum active links you will be deciding which to send so that concept is nothing but agent based adaptive so this also comes under dynamic similarly chained fail over this is a static method guys so this method sounds really odd guys so basically this i think it is never used or anywhere it is not used i think so i'm not sure but it is not an ideal situation or ideal condition so here if you are having a three servers okay so the first thing that you will do is you will just assign all the requests to the first only until it is full so basically once it is full and it cannot load any other request at that time you will send the request to the second server so in this way you will fill the servers one after the other so this concept is nothing but chained failover or static so here all servers are chained one after the other okay and all requests are sent to server 1 until it is overloaded once it reaches to the maximum we start the next coming request to server 2 so basically whatever the next requests are coming you will send it directly to server 2 so in this way we are going to control the load so i think this is not an ideal condition guys because if your website is ha is having two servers and you are getting really low traffic at that time always the server 1 will only be used so what is the main use of this server 2 which is just a waste of your money right yes okay let us continue so the next uh, algorithm is nothing but weighted response time so this is also a dynamic method so instead of uh, having some weights with respect to the power and everything so here weights will be with respect to response time guys so remember that if response time is good that server is really fast and efficient guys remember okay yes so based on that response times we will be giving some priorities or weights so based on those weights you will assign the missions or requests so this concept is nothing but weighted response time so this method uses the response information from a server health so basically here the response side you can say is as health okay yes so what are the advantages of this uh, load balancing guys so high performance of the application so basically your application will be really good and efficient okay so it increases the scalability the ability to handle sudden traffic spikes so basically here you are sorry here you are dividing the load right yes so indirectly the chances of your website becoming slow is really less right yes so it reduces the downtime of the website so basically if one server is down the other server will respond what's there in that right so that is the reason why downtime is also low and response time will also be low as the request will be less right yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the concept of load balancing its algorithms and its advantage so in the next lecture let us go through the concepts of file storage file system and storage guys okay Yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching